Well, hello there. Welcome back to another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. And like I said, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, I've been it in my head a lot. I have. I really have. And we're changing things up a little bit. We've talked about this way at the beginning of this year. I was ready to put myself in push myself out of my comfort zone and really dive back into creativity. Um, and I had another moment yesterday that really brought that back to the forefront. So let's talk about it and we'll talk about today's project. It's going to be a good one. So I hope you enjoy it. So this is going to be probably a long winded kind of intro. Just to let you know what's going on in this little noggin of mine. You're so lucky, right? So, um, first thing I have to say is, uh, on one of the most recent Q and A's, I talked about my health journey and things that I was doing, and I said that I cut out coffee. I, I have, but I haven't. I am, uh, I am drinking coffee a couple times a week just because it brings me joy. Um, I. I'm one of those people that was able to drink coffee all day long up until the minute before I went to bed and the caffeine didn't really affect me very much. I am noticing that that has changed. <laughs> I do get headaches um, if I drink coffee uh, multiple days in a row and then I stop. So I do enjoy the taste of coffee. So what I am doing, and I know I could have decaf, but what I am doing is I once a week will give myself a treat of a, um, I like a protein coffee. So I take my coffee and I add a protein shake to it. So I feel like I'm doing something good. So I am drinking coffee on a small scale. So I'm not a liar. Things change. That's where we're at. So I did make my coffee and I shared that with you guys. Mm. And then that brings us to today's project. And um, actually it was interesting right before I was filming this, um, last night actually, my little Google display thing that we have at home that I basically use as a, a digital photo album. Really, that's the only thing I use it for. Um, it brought up a picture from 2018. My kids were teeny tiny. Um, they were all in the antique booth that I had. And this was right at the time when things just about took off of the changes that happened to Oh You're Lovely and the direction that we went forward in. Um, 2018 was a pivotal year in my life for sure hands down and the amount of joy and creativity and just like energy it was just it was a wonderful time and i wish i would have um recognized that a bit more or really held on to those moments a bit more because so many things changed so fret so rapidly i was gonna i was almost gonna swear so freaking rapidly that you really could just hold on and see where it was going um and my own like creativity was just firing on all pistons and i missed that so bad um and it was just that little nudge that i want to get back to that so that, that is my goal. I want to bring that back. I want to be more joyful in the cre creating, um, coming up with fun ideas, sharing them with you guys. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. And there might be a little bit of faking it till you make it in this, where I'm just gonna, I'm gonna push myself to oomph my excitability just a little so that I can like, Feel those vibrations we're gonna get real woo woo um so anyway we're going our project i told you it was gonna be a long-winded one our project involves books because um besides all the other changes i've been making i had decided i wanted to get back to reading and um i read on a kindle that i have like a fake little cover book for you know lovely i have not read so many books in my entire adult life that i have in this year um it's been non-stop and before, before you like get an opinion, these books are not, they are not um, literary, like genius kind of books. They are fun and light, sometimes dark. Um, I don't want to cry when I'm reading, which I just finished a book. I, I promise I won't do this very often, but I do have a book recommendation if you're getting back into reading or if you've never dipped your toes into fantasy, which I never have. I just finished The Fourth Wing. 
the amount of different emotions I had in that book. Um, I'm a little lost after finishing it. I don't know that I, I don't know what to read next to get anywhere close to how wonderful that book was for me. Um, but anyway, I've been reading a ton and it's kind of taken over a part of my personality a little bit and I really do enjoy having books around and um, I've done the book wall before. Maybe we'll pop in a picture of the past video or not, we'll see. We'll decide during editing. But I've done a book wall here on YouTube um, for you know a pretty backdrop or what have you and I want to do another project with a book. And so if you do not like seeing books um, torn apart, ripped apart, uh, cut out. Don't watch this video. I'll say that right now because it'll hurt your heart. But I will tell you that this book in particular, I got at the thrift store and um, it's about United States patents from April through June of 1975. I feel okay uh, cutting into this book. So we are going to make uh, a vase of some sort with this book for some flowers. We're gonna be using the English Garden assortment. It has been our top selling dyed assortment. We normally never, ever, ever bring back a dyed assortment. And this one has come back three times. And every time we make little tweaks each time, but it's still very close to the, the same vibe and feeling. Each time the colors don't really change or anything. It's just different flowers sometimes or different combinations of the colors. But anyway, we're gonna play with that one. It has been a customer favorite dyed assortment. It is still in the shop as I'm filming this, but we'll see, maybe it comes around for a fourth time. You never know. Um, so that's what we're gonna be using for the flowers. I grabbed some of our eucalyptus fern mix. This has been one I just keep gravitating to for the last couple of videos. I'm not sure why, but I love it and we're gonna use it. And then of course you need some sort of book. Um, I just watched a couple YouTube videos to figure out how I wanted to make the vase. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see if I can get this right. It'll be fun. That's all that this is about. It's about trusting the process, playing and creating and just seeing what happens. So that is what we shall do. I hope you enjoy this with me. And again, I apologize for the longest intro in the history of YouTube. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna prep the book and make our vase. So what I've done is I, I just picked a spot in the book. Where I was like, okay, I'm gonna cut up this many pages. And then I just have something underneath here to kind of protect the other pages because we're gonna cut through those. I drew myself a line. Um, you could have a like a, a ruler and be measuring throughout. I am not going to do that. And then I grabbed this, nobody tell my husband I stole this from him. I, I took it out of his garage. I don't know where my um, different cutting tools are recently. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna, we'll see how much we can get cut through. Ooh, a decent amount. Dang, okay, so I'm gonna cut the other side and then we're gonna cut all of these pages off and move on to the next part. Okay, our book, here's our little little pages that's gonna turn into our um, vase basically to hold in place. Now, if your book, if you're having issues with like the pages starting, the other pages starting to move, you can take a little bit of glue, just chunk it out and just put some glue on the different pages and that'll help hold that all in place. I'm not gonna do that right now, but I, I might at a, in a future date. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a chunk of the book of the pages that you cut off and you just eyeball it. You don't have to pick the same amount of pages for each 
one and we're just going to roll these in to each other. And we're gonna keep doing that until this is completely filled out. I want to add moss to this. How's that for ASMR? Ooh. But I do. I want to add moss kind of growing on some of this. I don't want to take away from all of the texture that we've created, but I want it kind of creeping throughout the book. And I'm going to also use some of it to kind of hide a little bit of the seam the flowers would hide it otherwise. And then we might just on a couple, pop a little bit of moss onto that too, that it's growing on there. I'm kind of coming into my um, cottage core era right now. So the more whimsical the magical, the better. Okay. <laughs> so pretty. Okay, we're gonna start gluing this all in place. I figured I should probably put the moss on first before I put in the flowers. We'll see if that's a mistake. Who knows, but I'm excited to find out. what we're gonna do with this this is all still kind of held together I'm gonna clip it all off Ugh. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing I'm pulling it all apart Jeez, Louise sorry about that you guys it's in my own little world There's all our greenery. Let's get that actually in the book now. Let's bring this back just a little bit. I'm gonna work back upside down backwards or whatever. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I definitely want these sticks in here. <gasps> oh my god, I need to move it. It's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be so cute. Okay, we're gonna see if I can keep it within the confines of the actual book. The little sticks are sticking out just a little bit above that, but I don't wanna go anywhere higher than that. It's the goal. We'll see if I actually can achieve that goal or not. Okay, I think 
the berries, I'm going to add in once the flowers are in. So I want to make sure that those don't get lost. Oh, I've got three of these. Perfect. Link these on all of the different sides. Okay, now for the flowers. My flowers are all pretty close to the same size. So they're on the larger side for this kind of project. I have three of each style. I definitely am not gonna be using all of these. Cause I mean, how magical is this on its own? The flowers are gonna just add to it. I already know that, like I have no worries. But I want to find the balance. Oh my gosh. Okay, I am gonna use all three of the mature dahlias. Because how could I not? <laughs> Just how could you not? So we'll do that little triangle thing that we do. And now we'll see for the rest. I don't know. I kinda wanna grab, I have some mini Lux flowers, maybe we'll grab some of those too. And those are just cream and mix them in there. Cause I'm, I don't wanna take, like I said, I don't wanna overdo it like I do everything. I wanna have a little bit of breathing space for this. We're just gonna have to see what happens. And I am turning the flower, the wire, to face forward. Okay, I think, I don't think I'm gonna add any more bigger flowers, but let's grab a couple little ones and just see. I think throwing in some cream flowers will really, it's kind of, it's a little dark right in this area. It's lovely, but it's a little a little dark. So let's grab, oh, and I, I think I'm gonna grab one other thing too. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I grabbed a handful of mini Lux flowers, and then I also grabbed some Sola branches. Wouldn't that be fun to have them kind of coming out in a spot? So let's keep playing, okay? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm wondering if we can also like, slide in a couple of these flowers into the book pages. I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. But we'll find out. Let's see, start putting a couple more in there. Working backwards. Oh my god, I'm in love. I'm in love, I'm in love, and I'm in love, and I don't care who knows it. Okay. Only thing, I didn't like how much like white right there. I'm fickle, what can I say? Let's do, let's do that one. This might be my favorite project of the year. Okay, so this flower, the petal is torn. It, it happens sometimes, I know, it makes us all sad, but it is a natural product. Things happen. That's okay, see we take that off, we flip it over, none the wiser. Guys, uh, how cute did this turn out? I'm slightly shocked by it, I'm not gonna lie. Oops, I got glue on here, hold on. 
Oh, no, that, no. Yes, no. Let's just put it back there. How cute. How cute did this turn out? I don't know what's going on with me. I do feel that there is a little bit of a shift in my style aesthetic. Like if I can shove moss now on anything, I'm all game for it. Uh, so I promise not all projects will be like whimsical cottage quarry, throw all of the moss on a piece, but there is gonna be a little bit more of that happening around these parts just because um, I'm gonna chase the joy where the joy takes me. And right now the joy takes me to uh, putting moss on everything. <laughs> Just so freaking magical. <sighs> I'm fine. It's fine. I will be okay. I will not like free. Oh my gosh. It's still so over the top yet too, but like not at the same time. I love it. It's over the top. Okay, fine. It's I have no other words. I'm just so happy with how this project turned out. Um, it brought me joy and that was the goal. I mixed all of the worlds right now that I love. This ma like fan fanta like fantastical. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Books, moss, flowers. Your girl is set, and her occasional coffee. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it inspired you. I hope as well that you're excited to go along on this journey as we wrap. Like, I cannot believe that we're, we're in June as I'm filming this. I think it'll still come out in June. It might already come out in July. If that's the case, freaking we're like halfway through the year. How crazy. You know, time sure does fly when you're having fun. I'm just like, can't believe we're already at that point in this year. So I hope you enjoy the journey with me through the rest of this year of chasing our joy and finding it in the projects that we do. I will be doing still though the wedding stuff and the bouquets and everything else, but every once in a while, we're gonna throw in these fun projects. Not that they aren't all fun. These just have a little something to them. Okay, enough of me rambling. It was a lot of rambling at the beginning and at the end, but not so much in the middle. Not so much. All right, you guys, if you're loving this channel and wanna follow along with that journey I keep talking about, make sure to subscribe and Ring that bell to find out about the 150 style wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery. Go to ohyourlovely.com, but before you do, let me give you something. Use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. You guys, thank you so much. Again, I cannot wait to see you next week for another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.